In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own portal effect. What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films coming at you with another tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the portal effect that you just saw. Now this has been used in lots of different videos and if you're a filmmaker you definitely want to know how to do this effect. So without further ado let's get straight on to the tutorial. Yes, so as you can see we are now in the edit and this is what it should look like once you're finished but as you can see it is a bit jumpy but you get the picture. So I'm just going to go and delete these layers and let's begin. So first you're going to get your footage that you want to put the portal on and then what you're going to go to is right click the timeline and go on the new layers and select a new plane which is just basically a big blank box. I think it's going to make it the same length as your video. Now if you want you can rename this, I don't know. Um oh portal just call it portal because it's the idea that's going to have the portal on it. So you're going to go to effects up and search in riff riff and as you can see here it comes up with dimension riff. You're going to drag this onto the portal plane layer so now as you can see it's basically just the portal on the blank of background now you're going to go to the going to go to the controls panel and go to the drop go to effects and drop down and, and it's going to have dimension rift and the first thing you'll see is this one here that says wall image we're going to want that wall image on the footage as you can see there so first what you're going to want to do is just reshape that so it fits like on the wall mm. I think there will do and then what you're going to go to do once you've put positioned it as you like you're going to go down here to this one that says expansion and put it on zero I move on on the t put it on zero and you're gonna and once you put it on zero you're gonna click this little circle which will add a keyframe to that footage and then move it on a little bit and move that up to one so it's full and fully open so as you can see you can actually see it there now it will be animated on so next up what you're going to do is go to media and get like an image that you want to be able to see through the portal you're going to make that the same length as your footage so, uh, so for, for this it's quite simple so basically what you're going to do is click back on the portal plane and you're going to go down here to a to view which is in the dimension rift thing um, collection and then what you're going to go to this is image and the image that you want it to be and then you're going to go back down here to the timeline and click on this little eye which makes it in which makes it invisible now don't worry it's not done anything yet but what you're going to go to do is this one that says connection and turn that up as you can s as you can see when you turn this up it reveals the image behind so with this as well what you're going to want to do is just add keyframes to that by going to the sir pressing the circle moving it on a bit and going to 100 that as you can see that has now added some more keyframes so now it looks a bit like that. Now it will be a bit laggy as you as it is quite hard and to do this as it renders it in 3D. And yeah, that is pretty cool though. So now you're going to be on the view and here you're going to you're able to adjust what you see in the portal as you can see you can make it zoom out and the scale and you can also Oh, you can also um, move it 
around in the picture. Now I'm going to have it, um, it about there. As you can see, that looks pretty good. Now when you want it to go, you can animate it out. Make it fade out, what you can do is you can have turn start turning it down oh. as you can see we have got it and now that is going to go smaller again it's going to shrink in you can also do this with the connection but you don't really need to as you can see it fades out Now once you've done that, you have your own, very own portal. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your very own portal. And I'm also thinking of making a gaming channel, so let me know if you'll be interested in that. And I might also not be uploading for a while as there'll be no internet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, but until next time, bye!